What's going on you guys, TBR here, back yet again with another King of Fighters All-Star video. And in today's video, if you can't tell by what's on screen already, yes, we are going to be sitting down and slowing down and breaking down the latest character trailer in the King of Fighters All-Star, because this time around, it's none other than EX Cronin himself. Now, for those of you who did not see yesterday's video, yesterday on the official forums, Netmarble did give us our first look at this character in-game. And yeah, we broke all that information down. If you guys want to check it out, link's in the description. In today's video, however, they did go ahead and release the official trailer. And yes, while a lot of this information is stuff that we went over and saw yesterday, there is quite a bit of new stuff in here as well. So we're going to be talking about that in today's video. But before we go ahead and get into all of that more, make sure if you guys haven't already done so, you smash that like button and subscribe. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the EX Cronin teaser trailer. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to watch this at normal speed first, and then we will go ahead and slow it down. So we'll go ahead here and start her up. I'm going to turn the volume down so I don't kill you guys, and let's go ahead and get it going. So this trailer had everything I wanted personally and more. <laughs> so you guys know me, I'm a huge fan of Nameless, Cronin, whatever you want to call any of these characters in this kind of lineage at this point. Um, Tetsuo, whatever you want to do. But in general, this trailer got me even more hyped than I already was. This is a character I have been talking about and pretty much documenting since uh, he was announced for KOF 15. So I've talked about since that time the how much I wanted to see him added into this game and the time has finally arrived, right? So that's the trailer. Really, really cool stuff. We're gonna slow it down here. We're gonna talk about it because there's quite a bit in here. So we're gonna go ahead and do 0.25 speed. I'm turning the volume all the way down this time because yeah, on 0.25 speed, you don't wanna be having that up. So when it comes to the trailer here, we already know kind of the basics about the kit. Again, if you guys wanna know the basics about how he has Infernal Flame, he has Explosion, he has Skill Cooldown Decrease, he has Hyper Armor, he has all these different things on his kit, yesterday's video is what you wanna check out. So on the S1, of course, we know that this is where he is going to get his burn, right? On there's the S2 there, and then we have the S3, which is a charge skill, and that's going to have his explosion from what we can tell. So, basically, those are going to be the skills. Now, this right here is what I was interested in. First and foremost, the card art. Looks amazing for this finisher. This is the finisher that I was wanting to see. I talked about this yesterday, yesterday about how excited I was to see this in action and see just what Netmarble did animating this because they do such a great job on animations. And one concern that I did have going into this is if you aren't familiar with the Climax finisher for Cronin in KOF 15, it is a bit on the shorter end for a KOF All-Star finisher. So that is one minor concern that I had, but I do feel like a lot of times what they do, they'll either elongate them or they'll change them. So we'll add something to elongate them in general. So I think that in general with this one, it's going to be fine like they normally are. And I think you can almost kind of see a little bit of that in here because it does look like they might have elongated things. No pun intended, given the arm, but I digress. I think that that is something they might have already taken into account, but this is the animation here. Card art, like I said, looks amazing. But as far as the animation is concerned, they did a wonderful job as always. Fantastic work by Netmarble on this character's art. Looks fantastic. If you are a K49 or Cronin fan, you should be extremely happy with what they've done here. I really like the POV there with that. Very chaotic looking, love it. So right here is going to be the biggest talking point of the video, however. Now, this is showing off his EX skill, and I wanna preface this by saying we do not know anything about exactly how this is going to work. We already know that they are going to be potentially experimenting with the release of this character based on the fact that yesterday, they pretty much gave us information on a new skill that's been added or new effect that's been added to Awakening for this character called Max Mode, where basically, long story short, from what we can tell, you hit Awakening, and then you're going to consume all of the PG bars that you currently have whenever you do that, and for each bar consumed, you're going to get 20% attack up, right? So that's pretty impressive stuff, right? However, this right here is looking very interesting as well. So basically, if you can't tell by the little icon here, <laughs> icon, get it, pun, but the icon here 
is basically looking like Concentrate. That's what it looks like. And Concentrate is normally the skill that is basically going to give you at least one of your skills that you're going to have the ability to spam for a couple of seconds at a time, right? So basically, you can just spam it over and over until the duration ends. Now, with this one, what is interesting is while we aren't we aren't going to have 100% confirmation, like I said, on any of this, it looks like you're going to have Concentrate affecting your core finisher. We don't know if that's the case, but if it is, that has some extremely interesting implications. Let's check it out right here and we'll talk about it. So again, EX skill looks like Concentrate from the icon, and then we have the core finisher being used three times, right? So with that being said, I almost wonder if that's what we're getting into here. It's hard to tell, and I don't even know how that would really work considering with the amount of time that your core finisher takes up and the amount of time Concentrate usually gives you to spam a skill. I don't see how that would work, but hey, maybe that's what they're doing. Maybe they've changed something. We don't know. It's very tough to tell here, but it looks like that's almost what's going on. A lot of speculation out there right now on this. I think that it's best for all of us just to basically take the wait and see approach until we get official confirmation. But really looking at this, that's what it seems that they're trying to indicate to us. And if that's what they're trying to indicate to us, then I'm extremely excited for this character, even more so than I already was. So interesting stuff. We'll have to wait and see on implementation how this thing works or what's going on here. But hey, leave it to Netmarble to give us, uh, leave us with more questions than answers, right? But there's the final one there again. Three finishers in a row. I almost think Concentrate is going to be on his core finisher. Cool stuff, guys. Very, very cool stuff. Now, next up here, we have Card Art. Now, this is going to be the card set. So our first look at the card set. We'll be able to see the rest of the art after this. But there's the card set art. Very, very cool. I really like how... And at first, I thought this was an iPod because I'm old. <laughs> and I was like, oh, no, that's that looks like more a phone. But yeah, so I just think that one's kind of funny. But let's continue it here. So this is card art for the card set. Again, we're going to get the final card art right here. So basically, final card art for the card set from the other two we just saw. And then we have the option card right here, I'm assuming. Pretty, pretty obvious at this point that that's what's going on here. And it does share very similar art to EX on Hell's option, which I think is really adorable, honestly. I think that's really cute. And I'm very excited to see how they tie EX on Hell and Cronin together in things such as the Rush Dungeon as well. I think that's probably something that's going to obviously happen. And it'll be kind of fun to see. But in general, that is pretty much what we got going on in this video, you guys. There isn't much else here. Again, we talked about a lot of this stuff in yesterday's video. I can tell you right now, honestly, all I care about right now is this character dropping because I want this character in my life. I am going to be going pretty darn hard on this character. And uh, there is all the potential in the world that this is going to be an A5 for me. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's one of those things where I get the feeling that they are going to shatter our expectations with some of this stuff with this character. If this is a character that they know everybody has been waiting on, or at least a lot of people have been waiting on, and I know a lot of people are very mixed on his release right now because some people, a lot of people, most people are expecting a collaboration very soon. So it's one of those situations where everybody's kind of feeling baited with this and they don't want characters that they really like to get be bait because they feel obligated. But, you know, it is what it is. I'm just, I've always been by the same opinion and always stood by it that you pull for your favorites. And for me, like I said yesterday, this is about the most hyped thing they could have released from KOF 15 that's not KOF 15 King. So I'm really, really excited for this one. It's just a very unique character. It's cool to see new characters get added that don't already, yeah, somebody's gonna say nameless, but characters that technically don't already exist in the game, characters that bring something new to the game. It's really exciting to see that anytime it happens, whether you're a fan of them or not. In this instance, I'm a fan, so I'm hyped. But anyway, you guys, let me know in the comments section down below what you think of all this. Is there anything in here you noticed that I may not have noticed? Let me know in the comments section. We should only have a couple of days left to wait for this. And yeah, I am excited. But anyway, you guys, I will see you all in the next one. You all take care. Peace. Continue.